Yo, what's up? In this box, I have a solution for all of you who don't have a dedicated workbench, but also for those of you who want to upgrade their workbench with some more storage and interesting solutions. So let's get the cardboard out and see what we have. This is the paint chest by Frontier Wargaming. It has a beautiful finish, very well put together. And also, if you like this kind of stuff, the hardware looks a little bit patinated and in general very high quality. You can also get it with some inscription of your own choice on the front, but also in the back. How cool is that? Nicely engraved and very beautiful, if I may say. Another very distinctive feature is the built-in handle which allows for lifting it and, and transporting it wherever you want to. So let's crack this open and see what it is inside. Oh yes baby, there is a lot of stuff to talk about right here. The base kit comes with 12 modules. There are 4 types you can choose from in any combination. Additional modules as well as optional extras can be specced out on Frontier Wargaming's configurator page. I will leave a link in the description and in the end of this video I will give you a code for 2 free modules. Now let's check out what we can fit right here. In these kind of paint trays, we can fill with this sort of acrylic paints. We can fit quite a lot of them in one tray. I actually don't have that many. And there we go. Now the next one can go not directly above but we can skip we should skip one drawer so let's check out the regular type of tamiya paints or mr hobby paints like this one and those so from this we can squeeze one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 17 jars comfortably. Now let's put it inside the chest. Alright, can we put one more on top directly? Yep, no problem at all. Now let's check out something else. Some Mr. Cement in the tray. Yep, it fits nicely. MRP is about the same size as Mr. Cement glue, so we can have some of those too. No problem at all. We saw clearly that all kinds of paint jars fit nicely in these holders, but what about some of these? Oh, paint tubes. They are not really suitable for placing like this because they'll fall off or maybe they don't but in any case frontier gaming has a very cool solution for this here we have the paint tube holders which are nice and convenient way to store your oil paint tubes for example that's all the paint of this type that i have but you can see we can fit quite a good number of them in one of these trays and then we can fit them as I personally prefer like that in which case if we have something on top we can still have visible colors or as I believe is the recommended way to have them in this orientation Another thing that you can put in such holders are some fillers like the modeling putty from AK 
but others like the Tamiya basic type putty simply does not fit right here and also the Tamiya compounds are not a good fit but anyhow this is a very good solution for these kinds of tubes and for virtually everything else we have the toolbox which is with a lid who fits nicely and here we can store practically everything that we use from various putty tubes your airbrush even hobby knife riveter paint brushes fit nicely inside and you can store them nicely in a place where you know where they are and can easily reach them some stuff we can store directly into the chest like these larger bottles thinners drying retarders primers and other things also we can easily store some thinners of this type from mr hobby or we can just squeeze in some white spirit bottles and see go the bonders from AK, I guess others have similar sized bottles. Now let's check out what else can we add to this to improve things further. As an option, you can purchase a wet pallet which fits nicely in the tool carriers, the tool boxes. I'm not much of a Actually, this is my first wet palette, but here is how it looks. And it is nice to have a dedicated space for it. Another option extra that you can purchase is this LED strip, which has its own mounting brackets and can be easily placed or removed. So let's see how it looks without my studio lights on. It doesn't look bad. And have in mind that I don't have any other artificial source of light. And I have some blinders on the windows. So the room is rather dark right now. Certainly sufficient for working. The paint chest from Frontier Wargaming is absolutely cool solution for all of you who don't have a dedicated workbench. Now granted, it will get heavy when you load it. But come on, it is what it is. So check out the link in the description for their website and this is the code that will give you free storage module when you purchase your paint chest. I hope this video was informative for you and until next time, happy modeling fellas!